Christ, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Eddie the Magic Monk. Eddie the Magic Monk. Eddie the Magic Monk. Hey guys, Eddie the Magic Monk here. Welcome to my first Lost Ark tutorial. And in this video, I'm going to teach you guys how to play with a controller. So you can see in the game, there's a mouse cursor and you can move it around, move the mouse cursor around with your right stick. Okay, as you can see in the controller screenshot, I'm moving my cursor around. Now, to click on it, to click on something, okay, all you have to do is actually press the stick. So I'm going to now press it to choose the server I want to play on. And I uh, pressed it twice to double click into it. Okay, so just remember right stick is to move the cursor and press the right stick if you want to click on something. So now I'm going to choose my character. Again, I'm going to click launch. Okay, so this will launch the game. Okay, so I'm in the game. You can see all these menus. Again, it's very simple to get rid of them. Just press, move the mouse around with the right stick and press on the crosses to get rid of them. Okay, so now to actually move around the screen, okay, you can still use the mouse cursor, move around and click onto things. But it's not very, it's not a very easy way to move around. Okay, not a very easy way to move around. The easiest way to move around is simply use the left stick. So I'm going to, using my left stick, I can simply move my character around, which is really easy. Okay, so once you move your character around, you're used to moving it with both ways. Click on the cursor, move with the left stick, move them around. Then the next thing you want to learn is what does the uh, buttons do? X, Y, B, and A. Okay, so the first thing is X. What does X do? X simply is the default attack. Okay, so I'm now going to find some monsters and I'm going to try and attack them and show you. Okay, so you can see some monsters here. Now, the default attack is just to press X. So I'm just going to press X and you can see I'm launching my combo attacks as a monk. Okay, not very powerful. You keep pressing X, it's going to take you a very long time to actually uh, to actually defeat a monster. Right? So instead of uh, just pressing X, you might want to use some of these attacks down here. Right? You might you, you might want to use some of these attacks. So it tells you what you need to press on to use the attack. So the first one is LB plus X. So I'm going to press LB, hold it down, and then press X. It uses my uses um, that first attack, uh, first special attack along the top row. So I'm going to hold down LB, press X, and just keep pressing it, and it will keep uh, using that skill. So LBX, so I think it's three attacks that it's eligible for, LB plus X. Okay, so now I'm going to go LB plus Y. Okay, so that's the second skill down here, LB plus Y. Then I also have LB plus B, that's the lightning. Okay, so LB plus X, three skills. Uh, sorry, three attacks in a row, and you can see there's a cooldown. So you got to make sure that you attack them while there is no cooldown, right? So then I'm going to go LB plus Y, and then LB plus B, LB plus A. Okay, so you sort of just do that, LB. Hold down LB for the top row skills. All right. Now, the next thing is to use LT, left trigger. Left trigger, hold down left trigger, and use the same four buttons, X, Y, B, A. So left trigger, right, is the first skill. Left trigger Y, second skill with the feet. Uh, left trigger plus B is a third skill. And left trigger plus A is a fourth skill. All right, and then later on, we're also going to show you how to make these more powerful. But let's just go 
LB plus X, LB plus Y, LB plus B, LB plus A. So I'm just going to rotate through the skills. X, Y, B, A. All right. Now, so that's how you use the attack skills. Uh, if you do not use the LB or LT triggers and you simply press A, that will dodge. That will dodge the enemy. So I'm just going to press A to dodge. Now the dodge has a cooldown. The dodge also has a cooldown. So unfortunately you can't just keep dodging. Right? So you can see down here, it tells you how long before you can dodge again. Right? A, 5 seconds before, 6 seconds before you can dodge again. Which is kind of annoying. So got some enemies together. So again, I'm cycling through the skills again. And now left trigger. Left trigger plus Y. Some kicks. Okay, takes a while to finish them off. I'm uh, thinking that my skills haven't leveled up yet. Or my... Um, skill tree hasn't been activated because i'm usually a little bit stronger than that okay so that is how you run around and attack uh now let's talk about how to use these things on the bottom right again to use the items it's rb plus and then these buttons here so rb plus x will use the potion so i'm gonna go um, as you can see, I only have 903 health right now. So if I hold down RB plus X, I heal myself. And it takes a little while, but it's healing. So, oh, they're all together again. So LB plus Y. Okay, just spamming all my attacks. And then when I'm about to die, RB plus X will use the potion. RB plus Y will use my mount. Okay. And then um, RB plus X, sorry, RB plus Y again will come off my mount. All right. That's what these skills are. Now, uh, I haven't used these potions yet so i won't talk about them yet but how do you get the major healing potion down here all right now before i go too much deeply into everything else i just want to show you guys how to look things up if you forget because chances are you're going to forget okay so what you do is you go down to the um services click on that And then open up the game menu. Now you can see the game menu can be opened up by holding down RB and pressing the start button. So I'm going to do that. RB start button opens up the game menu. And then RB start button again will close it. RB start game menu. Okay, so in the game menu, right, to see your controller settings. What you then go to is you go into settings and then you go to gamepad control and you can see all of these settings again all right combat all of these things you can do it's all listed over here we covered move pick up we haven't done pickups yet because my pet's been picking up everything and we haven't done interact with NPCs yet, which we're going to go through very soon, but. Okay, so once you go to other, if you scroll down, you can see that you can also use your controller to open up the inventory by pressing the left arrow key. So I'm going to press the left arrow key to open up my inventory. Okay, and you can see that it says these are all the items that I have. Okay, so I'm going to use this normal healing potion. 
So it tells you, once you hover your mouse over it, how to drag and drop it. Okay, and that is simply holding down the right stick to drag and drop. So I'm going to hold down the right stick. And now I'm dragging it because I'm holding it down and dragging it at the same time. I will drag it down here. Okay, so now next time if I want to use a normal healing potion, I can just go RB plus B. And that will let me use my normal healing potion. And then the pet, where does the pet come from? Or my horse, where does the horse, how did the horse end up here? Okay, so the way that I added my mount down here is if you go to guide. Someone's playing Fallout 4. Go to guide. And then go to mounts. You can see my white horse is here. And again, I can drag it. Using my right stick, drag it, hold it down, and put it over here somewhere. Alright, come on. Yes. So now, if I press LB plus RB, it will... Um, LB plus RB plus... Oh. So i got to press LB plus RB plus X. Right, this, that's what this one is. LB plus RB plus X. It doesn't even say it, but that's what it is. LB plus RB plus X. LB plus RB plus X. Right, and that will be LB plus RB plus Y. And LB plus RB plus B. Alright, only three of them. Okay. So, uh... Yeah, that's uh, probably going to be part one of the controller tutorial. We will talk more about how to do other things with the controller in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.